Now, Shannon Halligan tells us there are steps you can take to make sure your kids are safe if they wander toward any pool. Shannon. On one of the hottest days of the year, it can be a relief to be able to hop into a pool. And with inflatable pools like this and other above ground pools, they're becoming much more common. But it's just as important to make sure they're safe. Raytown police are investigating how a two year old girl drowned in this above ground pool. They're not sure if she was swimming or wandered there on her own. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the reality is that drowning is the leading cause of unintentional death among children between the ages of one and four. Approximately 390 children under 14 drown just in pools and spas. I'm not talking about other bodies of water. That is just in pools and spas. The children one to four are the most vulnerable and they represent about 300 of those children. And Raytown police do suspect this drowning was just a tragic accident. Children are very attracted to water. If they've had a good, fun time in that water, they're going back. Having adult supervision and teaching kids to swim should be common sense. But Chuck Baldwin, the president of Swim Things, knows people get distracted. A lot of people are buying these blow up uh, pools and they're less than 24 inches, so they don't need a fence. But Particularly a real small child, babies, uh, if you turn your back, answer the phone, get distracted, it doesn't take very much water. But there are precautions you can put in place. There are now door alarms you can install. You can buy water and laser sensors that detect movement around the pool and just putting up a fence around the pool so kids can't get in. And in most cities and towns, if you have more than 24 inches of water inside of your pool, it is required that you have at least a four foot tall fence surrounding it. And whatever steps you do take, you can never be too safe. Live in Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.